If you guys saw my videos on Parallels recently, you would know that Windows 10 Gaming on Parallels, which is a virtual machine on MacBooks, including the new M1 Max, is actually kind of possible now. So in this particular video, I'm going to expand on my previous video on this topic, show you some gameplay, I'm going to show you some GTA 5, some Assassin's Creed, some Batman, and also some Hitman gameplay. Now, just while GTA is loading up a few quick things, this is a base model M1 MacBook Air, no upgrades, just completely stock. And if you guys do want to download Parallels, I do have a link in the description of this video. Now, the other thing is, yes, I know this is a Mac, so you're not gonna be getting crazy good gaming performance. If you want that, get a PC. This is just to observe how this is gonna run on a Mac. So as you can see, we have loaded up. If I switch back to the Mac OS desktop, we can actually see that yes, this is Parallels, it's running as a VM. And if we come into the control center and we go to the options, you guys can see that I'm only using four cores of the eight available cores and four of the eight available gigabytes of RAM, which is what Parallels recommends. So again, bear in mind, what you're about to see in this video is using only 50% of the performance of this machine running the VM. So switching back to GTA 5, let's have a little bit of a look. So as you can see there, the performance is okay. I'm getting a couple of dropped frames, but it is actually quite playable. So I'd say probably about 25 FPS. Unfortunately, the Steam FPS overlay is not working. Um, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it, but it's looking at this point probably about, probably almost a solid 25 to 30 FPS. Uh, again, nowhere near what you're gonna be getting on a even entry level PC. But um, again, bear in mind, this is only running on four cores and four gigabytes of RAM. So that is actually kind of playable. That's really not too bad. Uh, let's go into the options. I'll show you the settings. So I have this actually set to very low settings. Um, you can see here I've got full screen resolution 1680 by 1050, uh, refresh rate to 60 Hertz and the advanced graphics settings. So everything is off. Uh, and then I did set the settings before to low and everything uh, off as well that could be turned off. Uh, and as you can see there, it's pretty good performance. So let's get out of this car, do some more running. I won't knock her out so we can, uh, oops, no, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just uh, run away from that. I didn't touch her, I swear. So yeah, pretty good performance here. I'm really, quite impressed with this. So if you guys have a 16 gigabyte RAM uh, M1 MacBook, doesn't matter if it's an Air or a Pro, as I said before, this is an Air right now, uh, you will actually be able to get a lot more solid performance because you'll be able to bump up the RAM to at least eight gigabytes. So I'm only using about four gigabytes right now, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how this particular game is playing. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Okay, so let's load up a single player game and we're just going to continue on. So right off the bat, uh, again, this isn't a very, you know, graphically intensive load screen, but uh, it does work, albeit some glitching. Okay, here we are at the very first level. So you can see there's quite a lot going on. So a lot of, quite a lot of artifacts and vegetation and greenery. Uh, and we are getting a pretty solid 35 FPS, and I say solid, uh, you know, you probably ideally would want to get more than this, but guys, just for an older single player game, this is actually quite decent to play. Like I could probably play this if I really wanted to. Um, I'll quickly show you the settings of this particular game. So we'll come to options and we'll come to graphics. So I have this set to 1440 by 900. Uh, everything is set to very low and off, as you can see here already. I might actually change this resolution. Let's bump it up to, I'll set it to the same resolution as GTA 5. So let's apply those changes. Okay, a little bit worse performance. We're only getting around 25 FPS now, but again, like it's, it's really not too bad. Uh, we can jump around, we can move the mouse around quickly. So you can see, when I move the mouse around quickly, there's not really a whole lot of screen tearing, but it's definitely not a uh, super smooth frame rate. But if you guys look in the top right, top left hand corner, you can see the frames are staying relatively consistent, which is good. That's what you kind of want. 
His performance is quite decent. Okay, let's move on to the next game, which is going to be Batman. Now, like I said before, guys, these games are not super graphically intensive. They're at least a couple of years old. A lot of games just don't work, such as Valorant, which I mentioned in my previous video, and that's because it has an anti-cheat system, uh, which is not yet compatible. So we're still waiting on Microsoft to increase the compatibility of its x64 emulation on Windows 10, on the ARM version of Windows 10. So hopefully in a couple months, or maybe even up to say, six to 12 months, this might be improved. But at the moment, it's really up to Microsoft for these things. All right, so let's quickly go back into a saved game. So we'll go back to the story and we shall continue. Okay, so now we're past all of the cutscenes. We're getting a relatively consistent 45 to 55 FPS. But again, like I said, there's a little bit of screen tearing. It's not quite as nice to play as the previous one. So let's do some fighting here and we'll see how the FPS holds up. Okay, so the fight scenes are actually really quite impressive. We're getting almost 60 FPS here. Uh, and guys, just in a um, more of a quality sense, it's not too bad. Like the actual quality of the game does not seem too bad at all. I, I could definitely play this if I was just wanting to do some light gaming at school or university. Um, so yeah, it's really not too shabby at all. So just during this cutscene, we'll go into the graphics options and I'll quickly show you what I'm running. Um, so I do have a lower resolution. So what we'll do is we'll bump that up to what we were doing before. Uh, I'll actually leave everything else. So we're going to apply this. Okay, so now that we've bumped the resolution up, I'm noticing a significant increase in quality, but really not much change to the FPS. So again, this is probably potentially even smoother than the previous games I was playing. Okay, now the fight scenes now, we've dipped slightly to about 55 FPS, back up at 60 now. Uh, but yeah, again, totally playable guys. I'm actually playing on a wireless keyboard and mouse here, just Logitech ones, so they're not gaming oriented at all. And it's quite responsive, it's quite smooth. Um, so yeah, really quite a good experience. So let's move on to the final game, which is Hitman Absolution. Now, while Hitman loads, one thing I just wanted to quickly talk about is, again, guys, I'm not trying to say that the Mac is a gaming beast, especially the M1 Max. It definitely isn't. But this is still very, very early days. And the way it's going at the moment, if this continues in the direction it's heading, you may very well see Macs actually being able to play almost all of these PC games, because when the new M1X chips, for example, come out, if they are going to be released, you're gonna have a minimum of 12 cores, and eight of those cores are going to be performance cores. So you can set all eight cores of your uh, machine to parallels. You can also add eight gigabytes of RAM if you have the 16 gigabyte RAM version, and that's gonna give you a very, very powerful machine and by then, hopefully, we will also see some updates from Microsoft to its ARM architecture. And very potentially, you may be able to game normally using a MacBook, at least with Apple Silicon. So very, very exciting stuff. Okay, wow, we're getting almost 100 FPS. And guys, it definitely does feel like 100 FPS. I know this is only a 60 hertz monitor, um, but this is really not too bad at all. So do some shooting, absolutely no issues, nice and smooth. I can even aim at the bird and get a relatively good lock on. Let's jump into the settings, go display. So 1440 by 900, let's set it to the same as the other ones. Refresh rate. Yes, we'll leave all of that as is. Graphics, everything is set to low. So this is now the same resolution as all the other games. And we are still getting about 100 FPS. Let's take this axe. Still about 100 FPS. Okay, that's very cool. Let's uh, exit out of this. So just to show you guys as well, here's my hand. I'm going to swipe on the trackpad. You can see we are literally running Mac OS on the side here, concurrently with Windows 10 playing a game. So yeah, really, really impressive stuff. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It definitely was a cool little introduction to Parallels and some Windows 10 gaming. If you want me to try any more games or you want me to do a separate video on this topic, let me know down below. But apart from that, I will catch you in the next one.